Here is episode 79 of the Mr. Men book readings. Little Miss Dotty. Welcome to Nonsense Land. You may have heard of it. It's where the trees are pink, orange and, orange and brown, and the grass is blue. Where dogs wear hats and birds fly backwards. And where Little Miss Dotty lived in the middle of Whoopi Wood. Yep, Nonsense Land really is quite the most extraordinary place. If you ever come across a worm wearing a straw boater and wearing a bow tie, you'll know you are in Nonsense Land. And if you ever happen to catch sight of a pig playing tennis, you'll know exactly where you are, won't you? That's right, Nonsense Land. One morning in January, little Miss Dotty was having her breakfast. A bowl full of marmalade with milk and sugar. While she ate, she was reading the newspaper. She took the Nonsense Land daily news every day and always read it while she ate her dotty breakfast. Something in the paper caught her eye. She stopped eating and started reading. The headline read, Nonsense Cup Winner. And underneath it said, This year's Nonsense Cup, for the silliest idea of the year, a green tree was yesterday awarded to Mr. Silly by the King of Nonsense Land. Runners up were Mr. Muddle and Mrs. Nincompoop. Next year, continued the story, the Nonsense Cup will be awarded not for the silliest idea, but for the dottiest idea of the year. Huh, it's funny, isn't it? It's like, because I think this little Miss Dotty must take place a year after the Mr. Silly book. This after the Mr. Silly book. Hmm, weird, isn't it? The dottiest idea of the year, little Miss Dotty thought to herself as she popped a spoonful of marmalade into her mouth. I better could win that nonsense cup. After breakfast, she set off for a walk in Whoopi Wood to think about this and that, but most of all, to think about that famous nonsense cup. On a walk, on a walk she met Mr. Silly. Congratulations on winning the cup, she said to him. Oh, it was nothing really, he replied modestly. Little Miss Dotty thought about telling him that she was going to enter next year, but then she decided not to. January passed, and February, and spring came, and the blue grass blue grew. But could Little Miss Dotty think of an idea? She could not. She couldn't think of a single Dotty idea. Summer came to Nonsense Land, and went without a single dotty idea in mind. And the leaves started to fall from the trees. And then one afternoon in late November, Little Miss Dotty thought of her idea. The dottiest idea ever. The year ended, and next January arrived in Nonsense Land. A huge crowd gathered as usual in the square to see who had won that year's Nonsense Cup. The King of Nonsense Land mounted the specially built platform and a hush descended upon the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, the King announced, again it is my pleasure to announce the annual winner of our famous Nonsense Cup. As you know, he continued, the cup will be awarded this year to whoever has had the dottiest idea of the year. The crowd held its breath. One of which, he went on, has been entered by Mr. Nonsense. The crowd looked as Mr. Nonsense held up his dotty idea for all to see. A television set with no screen. It's for people who don't like watching television, he explained proudly. The crowd clapped. However, continued the king, we have an even dottier idea from last year's winner. Mr. Silly triumphantly showed his invention to the crowd. It was a clock. All with the numbers the wrong way round. Well, if you look at it in the mirror, it tells you the right time, he announced. The crowd cheered, and Mr. Silly felt sure that he was going to win the Nonsense Cup for the second year running. But, continued the king, and Mr. Silly realised that he wasn't. But, said the king again, we did announce that the Nonsense Cup was to be awarded for the dottiest idea of the year. And this year's winner has provided us with, he paused, 999 dots. Little Miss Dotty held her breath and blushed. Hurrah, roared the crowd. Follow me, said the king. The king and Little Miss Dotty led the crowd through Whoopi Wood to her cottage, and there they stopped and stared. 
It would be Stotty had spent the whole month of December painting dots all over her cottage, hundreds and hundreds of different coloured dots, 999 to be exact. Little Miss Dotty had all counted them very carefully. That's a lot of dots, remarked the king, as he handed over the nonsense cup, and the crowd cheered. Thank you, your majesty, she replied, and she blushed with pride. Oh, one last thing. If you're as good as counting dots as, li uh, dots as little Miss Dotty, you'll be interested to know that there are 195 small letter I's in this story, and there are 195 dots on the top of all of them. And the author should know, because he put them there. <laughs>